The oil market's a bit nervous this morning as the potential for an all-out trade war between the United States and China escalates with billions of dollars in tariffs kicking in overnight. Checking oil prices right now, the cost of crude, let's take a look. Where is it trading? It's down about 20 cents a barrel, 72.74 a barrel. It's hovering near four-year highs, however. Joining us now, Price Futures Group oil analyst Phil Flynn. Phil, what does this trade battle mean for oil? Where does it go from here? Well, I mean, the biggest concern is that if we have this big trade war, will it slow down economic growth and slow down demand? Uh, and as you can see by the price of oil, there's been little impact. This comes even as China's already threatened to put a 25 percent tariff on U.S. crude imports, uh, which amounts to about 400,000 barrels of U.S. crude a day, about a billion dollars a month. Already, Chinese refiners are looking for alternatives to uh, U.S. crude. Uh, and let's face it, I mean, the U.S. crude industry in China is just beginning. Uh, this is just a small part of what U.S. exporters hope to see as a major market for them. And obviously, this is going to slow things down a bit. But at the end of the day, oil is a fungible commodity. And with the global economy consuming near record amounts of crude oil, I don't think it's going to slow things down that much. Phil, this is Christina Parts, and I was speaking. Do you not believe that spare capacity, though, is there's just depleting and there's not enough? I know you're speaking very positively right now, but there have been reports about spare capacity around the globe that's not going to be able to fulfill demand. It, you're absolutely right. That's my biggest concern about the, the economy. The trade war is secondary uh, because the, the spare production capacity in the globe is probably at a historic low. We really do not have oil in the bullpen to bring on quickly if there's a major disruption. I mean, today, right now, we have a tropical storm in the Atlantic that's developed, you know, tropical storm barrel. Uh, and if we lose any production because of that, where are we going to go to replace it? There's not a lot of places left. Well, we've got the SBR, Phil, right? And I've been predicting. I don't yeah. know if it'll happen because it's just me thinking out loud, <laughs> frighteningly <laughs> enough. You're thinking uh, six, good. Six, think 650, bi six, 650 million barrels <laughs> in the SPR. That would, be, that would be something that the president could do, release some of that oil to bring down prices. Absolutely. I think you're absolutely right. He will do it. And that's 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 our spare capacity right there. And President Trump has already shown that he's been willing to sell oil from the reserve for budget reasons. You know, we've already sold probably 100 million barrels out of the uh, the reserve over the last uh, couple of years. And President Trump would use that in the case of an emergency. But you don't really want to just rely on the reserve. You want to get back to where investment in the globe, uh, in energy, gets to the point where it can meet the demand expectations of the future. Uh, Bill, real quick, sure. sorry, I just want to get to this, Steve. The much anticipated initial public offering of Saudi Arabia's giant state owned oil company, Aramco, has reportedly stalled. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that it will probably never take place. This was billed as the world's largest IPO. What is behind this unraveling, Phil? You know, I think it's a combination. Uh, uh, Mohammed bin Salman is under a lot of pressure at home. Uh, some of the royal family wants to see him out of there. But at the same time, it was just too big. You know, the London Stock Exchange basically said if we were going to do the Saudi IPO, we'd have to make special rules for this IPO because they don't fit the traditional definition of a normal company that would be going public. And they never wanted to show every, everything that they had to show. You know, there was a lot of things on the books that a normal public company would have to disclose. Saudi Arabia didn't want to. It made it almost impossible to make this thing go. Phil, thanks so much. Phil Flynn joining us from, from Chicago, Price Futures Group. Phil, great to see you as always. Have a great weekend. Thank you.